Welcome to this Entering Student Responses and Scores into the Data Entry Interface, or DEI, video tutorial sponsored by the California Department of Education, or CDE. The DEI is used to enter student responses and scores for California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress, or CASP, and the English Language Proficiency Assessments for California, or LPAC. This video will demonstrate how to enter student responses and scores for the following tests into the DEI. For the initial LPAC and the LPAC interim assessments, users will enter scores for each question in the speaking domain for all grade levels and the writing domain for kindergarten through grade two. For the summative LPAC, users will enter scores only for the speaking domain for all grade levels. For the California Alternate Assessment, or CAA, for English Language Arts and Literacy, or ELA, and the Summative Alternate LPAC, some local educational agencies, or LEAs, will be required to participate in second scoring using the DEI. Second scoring is the process of having a second scorer score the same student's rubric scored items simultaneously, yet independently, from the student's test examiner. The second scorer must be a test examiner or a test administrator. The test examiner will assist the student in submitting answers into the test delivery system or TDS. After the second scorer observes and scores the student's responses in real time, the second scorer will enter the student's scores into the DEI. Second scorers have two options to record scores. They can either enter the student's second scores directly into the DEI at the time of testing or they can use the answer recording sheet for second scoring provided in the Directions for Administration, or DFA, to initially record second scores during testing and then enter them later into the DEI. The third and final use case for the DEI is to enter responses and scores for paper pencil tests, or PPT. Only students with an IEP or Section 504 plan that specifies the PPT test in Braille, large print, or as a standard PPT, can receive the PPT. LEAs who have completed the CASP and LPAC special request for paper exams form and were granted approval would use the DEI to enter student responses and scores as needed for all assessments with the exception of the summative LPAC for kindergarten through grade two. Kindergarten through grade two summative LPAC answer books will be returned for scoring across all domains. First, we will log on to the DEI. Let's begin by navigating to the Test Operations Management System, or TOMS, in your web browser. Log on to TOMS by entering your username and password. Once done, select the Secure Logon button. Select the appropriate role, and then select the Logon button. Select the Links Navigation tab, and then select the Data Entry Interface, DEI, link. This will open the DEI. The DEI can also be accessed through the CASP and LPAC website by selecting the System Links menu in the navigation bar. Following Enter Student Information, enter the first name of the selected student, followed by the student's statewide student identifier, or SSID. Select the Sign In button. You will be asked to review the selected student's information on the Is This the Student screen. If the appropriate student is displayed, Select the Next button. Next, select a test for data entry from the available test screen. For this demonstration, we will select the Start Initial LPAC Grades 3 to 5 Speaking Online Data Entry Interface button. For entering student scores, educators have the option to record the student's LPAC score on the student score sheet provided in the DFA and enter the student's score into the DEI at a later time, or Enter the student's LPAC score directly into the DEI. On the Audio Video Checks screen, play the video to ensure that your audio and video playback is working correctly. Select the I Could Play the Sound and Video button, followed by the Continue button, to continue to the next screen. This will bring you to the Instructions and Help screen. You may select the View Help Guide button for an overview of the buttons you will see in the DEI. The guide is available on all screens by selecting the Help question mark button in the top right corner of any screen. Select the Begin Data Entry button to proceed to the next screen where you will enter student scores. Choose the appropriate radio button for the score and select the Next button. 
Please note that the initial LPAC and the summative LPAC domains may contain stopping markers. If there have been no responses or no correct responses prior to this marker, the educator may select the End Test button at this point in data entry. Otherwise, select the Next button to continue testing. When you reach the end of the test, the data entry summary screen will show any questions that did not have a score assigned. Select a question number with the triangle icon to go back to that question and assign the missing score. Do not re-administer or re-record the response for any questions that the student did not answer. For the speaking domain for all grade levels and the writing domain for kindergarten through grade two, if the test administration was stopped at the stopping marker, the test examiner does not need to enter scores for the questions that were not administered. A score of zero should be selected if the student did not respond to an administered question. If all entries have been completed, select the Submit Test button. When the Attention screen appears, select the Yes button. The Test Submission Record screen will indicate that the test has been submitted. You can select either the Enter Responses for a Different Test button or the Enter Responses for a Different Student button if necessary. If you have completed entering all of the responses for your students, select the Log Out button to exit the DEI. Next, let's review the process for entering student responses into the DEI. It's similar to the process for entering student scores. Student response entry is only applicable to paper pencil tests. Only students with an IEP or Section 504 plan that specifies the PPT test in Braille, large print, or as a standard PPT can receive the PPT. Once you have entered the DEI, select the paper pencil test for data entry from the available test screen. We will select the Start Initial LPAC Grade 1 Listening Paper Data Entry Interface, then proceed by selecting the Begin Data Entry button. The DEI will display the test questions and response options. Select the radio button that corresponds with the response the student marked in the answer book for each question, followed by the Next button. If the student left a response blank in the answer book, the educator may leave the item blank in the DEI. Continue until you have completed all the questions. Once you reach the end of the test, the Data Entry Summary screen will show any unanswered questions. After the test has been submitted, the Test Submission Record screen will confirm the test submission. If any errors were made in the process of entering scores or student responses, LEA CASP coordinators, LEA LPAC coordinators, and site coordinators can submit a data entry issue incident in the Security and Test Administration Incident Reporting System, or STAIRS. Note that STAIRS incident reports are not available for interim assessments. Thank you for watching the Entering Student Responses and Scores into the DEI demonstration video brought to you by the California Department of Education.